Should have bought my sunglasses board, shouldn't I? Academy student Tom Julian asks, Hey Sam, as a beginner, how do you determine how much time a video will take you? Also, how do you manage adding clients to your roster without taking on too many at once? Great question, sir. And funnily enough, a more common problem that my academy students have is that they're getting so much work that they're actually struggling to manage their time with each client. Here's what I think, and just to be clear, this is a little bit subjective because one of the great benefits of being a video editor is you get time freedom. You get to work on your own terms, right? But here's the thing. When you're first beginning and you haven't built your aura, you haven't built your reputation, you've not built your abundance, your skill set, I don't really think you should be worrying about overworking because quite frankly, you're in a season of building, okay? And if you want extraordinary results, you're gonna need extraordinary inputs. Let me pose it this way, right? Tom, you joined the academy about three weeks ago and you're already worried about taking on too much client work. That's a pretty sick position to be in. So why not just take on as much as you can and just throw yourself into the deep end. I'm personally a big fan of putting yourself under tactical pressure because quite frankly, guys, when you have a deadline, you're gonna hit that deadline, right? It's like when you were given homework and sure, for the first six days, you would probably fuck around, play Minecraft. But on the final day, you would just sit and you would get that homework done because you had to. Or maybe not and you're a naughty boy like me. Fuck homework. Anyway, video editing's a bit different, right? Because we actually enjoy video editing and we get a high ROI from it. We actually get paid. So there shouldn't really be an issue with wanting to do more of that. Create dope shit, get paid. You could play it really safe and you could turn away potential awesome clients or you could take them on and through sheer excellence, Resonomics, figure out how to be a better and faster video editor so that you can manage it. I remember when I was building up my reputation as a video editor, I was building up my aura and I had multiple clients, including my largest client, Hamza. But then I got a letter in the post and this was a disastrous letter to receive because it was for jury service. If you don't know, if you're called for jury service, you don't really have much of a choice other than to just go. Otherwise I'll harass you and whatever, right? So I was like, well, fuck me. I'm trying to build my online business. I'm already taking on so many clients and now I essentially have a part-time job to manage. And also just a side note, the case went on for like two or three months and it was a complete clown show, complete waste of time. I, through sheer risonomics, <laughs> I made it work. I still edited every single Hamza video every day. I did have to reduce my workload for some of my other, you know, less high potential clients, but I made it work. I literally <laughs> went to jury service, got home, worked until I fucking slept. And I did that for two or three months. And through that period of my life, I got so much fucking better at editing, at time management, time efficiency. I became an efficiency fucking god, okay? And that is because I put myself through, well, I didn't really put myself through it, but I took on the pressure. I didn't drop all of my clients for the jury service. I fucking plowed through anyway, and I figured it out. And I think you watching this video, future six-figure video editors could really benefit from a period of time like that because it forces you to grow so much. And look, the worst case scenario is you try all of your excellence risonomics, okay? And after a week of literally like losing sleep and you're not really hitting your deadlines, sure, you have to drop a client but at least you fucking tried. And you can drop the client which you think has the least amount of long-term potential. The best case scenario is that you do figure it out. You've applied tactical pressure, which has made you an excellent video editor and also incredibly time efficient because time equals money. And you also have a ridiculous amount of abundance. And you can start to leverage that so that you can get paid more for your time. You have a full roster of clients, a full schedule. You're fast as fuck. And when a new client approaches you, which they fucking well, you can literally very confidently say, pay me this amount, otherwise I'm not interested. And on the flip side, you can leverage the new clients trying to snipe you by asking your current clients for more pay, which personally I think is preferable because working with someone long-term, in my opinion, is the best and most efficient pathway to over $10,000 a month video editing. This is how you play the game, boys. You don't play it safe. It's time to play the game. It's time to play the game.
Thank you, Tom, for the question. And Tom joined my academy three weeks ago. He's been one of the most active motherfuckers I've ever seen inside of the academy co-work chat every single day grinding. And because I saw that, I directly recommended one of my high value businessman friends from my vast network directly to him. And guess what? That friend is, first of all, my personal trainer. Here's us in the gym together. But second of all, here's passed Tom's contact on to two other guys. So just like that, you can see if you join my academy and you leverage it correctly your entire life can change within a fucking month if you're ready to take your life to the next level you want to achieve financial location and time freedom you don't want to be in a fucking rat race anymore you want to hang out with a bunch of fucking donnies who are working towards the exact same thing as you join my academy of excellence there's a brand new payment plan to make it easier than ever to get started today click the first link in the description right now take care boys